Hey crafty family, it's -a me. And today I've got a quick tip for you. Um, I'm not sure if any of you are familiar with uh, the Ranger or Tim Holtz Distress Micro Glaze. It's a, um, it's, it's like a slimy, goopy consistency. And it's used over your distress oxides or your distress inks or your watercolors or anything like that. It's, you can use it over top of that to seal it. Um, because what happens is sometimes when you seal, um, when you seal things that are water reactive, like distress inks or distress oxides, you know, if you seal it with a liquid, you know, uh, water soluble, oh yeah. A uh, water base that's what I'm thinking of like a matte medium or a Mod Podge you'll end up smearing the color because it's water reactive and so yeah so that's what happens so I'm gonna do a little experiment but in order to do that I need a piece of watercolor paper I really don't need a whole lot so I'm just gonna cut a piece off of here like so <clears throat> And what we're going to do is we are going to watercolor for a second here. I'm just going to do a quick little watercolor. And that's that. I'm going to put some water in here. Nope, that's not the one I wanted to put water in. I'm going to get a different one. Okay, let's get some water. All right, I'm going to put some color down on this like so and I'm not really you know obviously I'm not watercoloring so that I can make beautimous things I'm doing it strictly to add some color to ex show you my experimenting because once again I did some experimenting I did some chemistry as I like to do and uh, came up with things. Oh, wrong color. That's not the color I wanted. I couldn't tell which one was which. There it is. That's the one I wanted. Goodness. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Okay, well, I guess that is good enough. Okay, so basically I'm going to sop up any puddles, wipe off my space, and we're going to allow that to dry <clears throat> while we move on to the rest of our experiment. Got to dry my little bowl out. This one I don't need to dry, I just need to put the water back in. Okay, so while that's drying and running and all that good stuff. Um, so anyway, so the Distress uh, Micro Glaze comes in a tiny little jar, a one ounce jar, and it's about five or six dollars for this one ounce jar. And I don't have any but I saw it on um, I saw it on on videos and so I don't have any but I saw it on videos and I actually saw Tim Holtz himself using it and explaining what it was and uh, I have found a recipe for it well and I didn't find it I made up a recipe for it because he described it as a non wax doesn't have wax in it because it's kind of goopy it's kind of like a, it looks like a waxy kind of goopy substance. Um, he, uh, I mean, I think in the jar it's more, a little bit more solid, but like when you get it, it feels like oily or greasy or goopy or something. Anyway, he explains that it's not waxy, but it's got an alcohol, it's got alcohol in it, which is what helps it dry fast. So I started thinking and I was like, hmm, I wonder if it, you know, because the, the he said it made the paper waterproof. And right there, I instantly thought, well, I wonder if it could be Vaseline and alcohol based. 
type of thing. Petroleum jelly and alcohol based. Because petroleum jelly is going to prevent water. But if you mix it with alcohol, it breaks down the petroleum, the oil in the petroleum jelly a little bit. So that it'll actually be able to dry and it just won't be a, you know, just won't be a, putting a jelly that stays wet on your paper. So that's when I thought, okay, let's do some experimenting. So I took some, this is, you know, Vaseline. I use it for putting around the, my jars or doing different things with. Put a little bit in this bowl. And take I have a bottle with alcohol this is 91% alcohol but I don't think it matters 71% alcohol or 70% whatever just a few squirts of a few squirts of the alcohol and work it in which is a little bit of a pain in the butt but just keep working it I work it up against the side of the bowl because I'm not mixing up too much because I already have some mixed I made for myself but you know, there's no real, I put like three pumps in for this like teaspoons worth. You don't, you know, just experiment. Like I, I don't know the correct recipe. Cause again, I just messed around. I don't think you could really go wrong. I think it works pretty well. Um, I think as you work it in, it, it goes from like a, it goes from like a yellow clearish jelly looking to a more whitish kind of opaque looking and i'm sure that's because of the alcohol reaction maybe so anyway i did that and then i took a um one of these guys and i'll just use what's on here because there's enough on my knife put it on there you know you can pick up a little more just pick up a little on your on your thing and what i'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, 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 let me get a marker or something. Let's just use a pen, shall we? And I'm going to draw a line. I'm sure a pen that works would have been nice. Okay, that pen doesn't work. Let's try another pen, shall we? All right, this one writes, Okay, so this side has the DIY, this is going to have the DIY um, uh, Distress Microglaze, Distress Microglaze, DMG, and this is going to obviously be without. So I'm just going to rub this on, now a little bit might get on that side. Now you would think, now as you see, it's not moving the ink at all. Now if I did this with a wet sponge, the ink would be going all over the place. So it's not moving the ink, okay? Now I take a rag and all I do is just kind of rub it in a little bit. Now I'm not sure you ha have, you know, I don't think you have to do this with the actual microglaze, but because mine's homemade, I'm just going to rub it in a little. Okay, so you can't really tell that it's on the paper. It looks still looks matte. And let me show you what happens right away. I'm going to cover this up because I don't want any water to hit the other side yet. But the water literally just beads up and sits on the paper. And it doesn't run the, you see what I mean? Like it, it, it beat it up and it didn't sink into the paper it just rolled right off isn't that amazing and it didn't hurt this now if I take water and spray that and let it run off I need another piece of paper here's the back of this you see what's happening all the colors running on it and it's all disgusting and it's ruining look it's ruining it. it's taking the color off look at the vibrancy compared to the two that one's nice and vibrant and that one's all in the and the water the paper's all soggy because it, it won't penetrate into the paper so the paper's not getting soggy isn't that amazing 
So I basically just made Distress Microglaze. Pretty amazing. So you don't need to buy it. You can just use it. Make it yourself with a little alcohol. And, and Oh, and the best part is... The best part is, if you wanted this to be glossy now, or you wanted to, you know, use your matte medium over top of it, no problem. Because now, you sealed it with that stuff, with the, your DIY microglaze. So now you can go over it without fear of running your colors. And, it, and it's fine. It doesn't affect you going over it. It doesn't not stick to it or anything. So how do you like them apples? That's pretty awesome, in my opinion. Pretty damn awesome. So, there you go. A little alcohol, a little Vaseline, save you five bucks. You don't have to buy a special thing. So let's dry this real quick. I may not edit this, so you're going to hear me drying it, so I apologize. I may just put it up on YouTube. What we're going to do is I'm going to put some. Now, I mixed myself up some in a little jar that I had, this uh, embossing powder jar. And so I can just dip my thing into it. And what I'm going to do here is, again, um, actually, I'm not even going to divide it. I'm just going to go over this. And... And I'll just show you. You'll know which side is the is the side. I'm doing the dark side with this so that it it you can see the dramatic result. If if it's gonna run, then it's gonna run. You know, because that's a dark color and it'll run. So I'm just taking a little like a dry cloth, which I don't even have a dry cloth for some reason. All my cloths are wet. Let's see. Is this one dry at all? Yeah, this one's a little dry. All right, I'm just lightly going over it. I'm not like rubbing it to death. Just lightly going over it. Just lightly going over it. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to this is the side that we just put that stuff on. I'm going to take water, not alcohol, and run the water down and watch what happens. It's beating up over here, but when I, but it's not here, a little bit, a little bit there, I must not have gotten it on there very well, but that's water reactive, and this is not, this isn't going to move, whereas this will. See how it's reacting? You could see the, I don't know if you could see the lines. You see the lines from it running down? And there's no lines here. In fact, there's still water on it and it's not running. Only right here a little bit because I must not have gotten that edge at all. But it's all running here. I don't know if you could see the lines. I could see them right here, 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 here. But there's no lines running through here. And I just pumped and pumped and pumped the thing. So it works really well to waterproof your... You can use it to... to uh, your watercolors, you know, uh, seal them. That's it. That's the word I was looking for. Seal them. Yeah, so you can seal your watercolors with it. You can seal any water soluble like your distress inks or your oxides or your watercolors or anything. Um, 
anything like that. And then you can go right over it with your other mediums if you wanted to. So that's pretty cool. I did it with this one a while ago. And it still beads up on it. Still beads up not affecting it and this is distress ink and this is or oxides and it's not hurting it so yeah pretty amazing so make your own make your own put it in a little jar and hold on to it and you'll have yourself i'm going to put this in there because well, a little bit goes a long way actually and uh yeah pretty cool huh so DIY Distress um, Micro Glaze is what it's called. Make yourself some because it's useful. And there's also some cool things you can do as well, um, which I should show you real quick. I've got a couple minutes before my thing's going to decide to be a jackass and shut off. Let me see if I can find a stencil real quick. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. not. Where is it? Let's see. Oh, what's this one? Let's use this one. Sorry, guys. Oh, my goodness. Come on. All right. Took me a minute to get that out, as it does with anything around here. Okay. Let's just take a piece of, uh, Oh, I know. Let's take a piece of book paper. Now this is thin. I don't know how well this will work on the thin book paper. But there's enough left in here. You just want to pounce it down and spin it to really get it in there. You don't want to rub it across because then it's going to get under the stencil. I wonder how well that worked out. Probably pretty good. Okay. So now... Now what we're going to do... I don't even think we need to let it dry. We're going to take... spray here do you see what I see do you see what I see Um, yeah, that's resist, folks, and now I'm going to pat over it to pick up any, uh, excess, and look at that, look at how cool, how stinking cool that is, you can do really cool resist effects with this. So you guys got to give this a try 
You will love it. It's amazing. It's so much fun. I'm having a blast playing with this stuff. All that for all that fun for something that you already have in your house, Vaseline and alcohol or petroleum jelly and alcohol. So give it a try. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip and I hope you will um, give my video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if you are subscribed, next to the subscribe button there's a little bell icon click that and you can get email you can set up email updates so that you know when i go live or when i have a video um and yeah i hope you guys will also in in the description uh box below i will have a link to my facebook group it's a craft group and it's a lot of fun and i hope you will come join us um, because we have a lot of fun and we've got a challenge going right now, uh, going on right now to make postcards and a lot of fun things. I go live on Monday nights, so you need to check that out. Um, which, yeah, is a lot of fun. We do mixed media mashup, which is mixed media. It's basically a beginner's class for mixed media, pretty much. Um, do that every Monday. So I hope you'll join us. Make sure you um, do what you love and love what you do and be nice to people. And I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.